Oh, to have lived in the golden days of the kingdom of the heart. When a princess, discovered by a pea, established a kingdom of honor and goodness. But, alas, later generations turn to pride, selfishness, greed, and war. Oh, so much knowledge was lost until good King Wyndham restored peace and encouraged the search to recover the wisdom of the old ages. Now, the last chapter will close on Wyndham's reign and a new one. <laughs> oh, pin feathers. Oh, Grandpa Stonebeak. Tomorrow, the greedy Prince Laird will be made king, and I fear all will be lost. It is rumored that the Crown Prince, young Rolo, from the faraway kingdom of Avea, even now rides to the coronation. But it may not matter. Already, many now believe that the legends of the old kingdom are nothing more than fairy tales. The air smells fresh and clean. What a lovely day. Never has there been a more pleasant month of May. Weeds need a whacking. It's time to get cracking and greet the morning. Listen to them, Helsa. Dragons of society singing, dancing. How disgusting. You're so right, Lord. It's ruining my appetite. Tomorrow I will rule the kingdom. Then we'll see what they have to sing and dance about. Prince Rollo! Sebastian, where are you? Meet Prince Rollo of Arvea. I brought something for you. Is it important? Like a treasure map, maybe? Oh, my. A history of the old kingdom woven into a tapestry. It's our legend of the pea and the princess and our coat of arms. <laughs> Remarkable. It says, to reveal the princess of true nobility, place the pea 20... Twenty... Twenty what? The tapestry is torn. You mean my treasure map is all about girls? No, marrying girls. Ugh. Oh, dear. There is a warning. It says here that 
If the key to the P is lost, the kingdom will end during the reign of the 18th king. But that will be Laird. It takes a man who knows his mind, my little pumpkin. A true leader to put people in their place. Not one sniveller short of Nero ever got to be a hero in the history of the human race. There's just one way to get your subjects to respect you. When they say they want a steak, you give them gruel. Though I know my manner seems a trifle shrill, still, that's what it takes to rule, my pet. That's what it takes to rule. <laughs> You've got to have a flair for all the latest fashion. You must devour each silver cape and silken vest. For when you're out attending weddings, public bludgeons and beheadings, it's important that you look your very best. And when the rabble whine because you've taxed them senseless, and they whimper, oh, how could you? Oh, how cruel. You simply flash them with that 20 carat smile. Style! That's what it takes to rule, my dove. That's what it takes to rule. Excuse me, sir. Don't think rude. But I take issue with your selfish attitude. What? A proper king is born to serve. Uh, listen, Halsa, isn't he sweet? Of all the conceit! The nerve! You must have vassals building castles fit to please you. Velvet walls and curvy servants by the score. Crystal goblets, silver dippers, fish with diamonds in their flippers. One big royal jingle jangle candy store. What's it all worth when there are families cold and hungry? Oh, my bleeding-hearted friend, you are a fool. There's only one thing separates us from the trash. Cash! That's what it takes to rule, young Buck. That's what it takes to rule. I disagree. I think you're wrong. What? A royal palace is the last place you be. Were you little? The king's no king. Not unless he cares. You've got no business ruling anyone. But, 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 but you, you... Don't dare say another word to me. You should be king. He does. When I'm crowned, I'll have you hung, drawn, and quartered. And I'll squash your measly kingdom like a bug. Let me advise you like a wise and loving father. Don't father. To suck those suckers dry is what you're planning to do. That isn't true, sir. What do you know of life? You're just a kid. I must be going. My God, you see? You see what he did? Volcanoes blowing. Hey. Now, Laird, behave. I've had enough. You're not so tough. Prepare to die. Just try. Destroy. Oh, boy. Take that. My head. The height. Good night. Come back, you puny pestwick. You mangy mule. It's gold. Gold. That's what it takes. Lad! Lad! If it wasn't for that stupid old rule that the oldest is crowned king. Actually, the law of the father states that the first son to enter the coronation room shall be crowned king. But Laird, being eldest, always enters first. Where are they? Where are they? Laird? I can't find my shoes. But... You have lots of shoes. Obviously, you've never read Dressed for Succession. I must be crowned in my golden shoes. You threw your shoes at me last night in the coronation room, remember? <laughs> I can't be seen barefoot. What about your brother? That's it. He fetched my shoes immediately. But... As your future king, I command it. Come on, Heath! And so, brother, don't let anything stop you. You lad, go in. Go in, Heath. I can't. Everyone's in there, waiting for Laird to come. What did your brother say to you? Don't let anything stop me. I think you stopped. 
Go on, lad. Start the ceremony! Hmm. <laughs> what a handsome despot you make. Music. They started the ceremony. Where are my shoes? I. I don't understand, Father. Step forward and kneel. In accordance with the laws passed down to me by my fathers, I'll crown you, he. King of all the realm. No! I'm the rightful heir. The crown and kingdom belong to me! I'm sorry, lad, but... It's all in accordance to the laws. The first son to enter shall be king. I sent you for my shoes. Not my kingdom! Stop whimpering. Lad, remember Heath. You are king now. Lad, you are my brother. And I love you. And what I do for you is in your best interest. I assign you rule over the pig kingdom. Pigs! I will have revenge. I vow these golden shoes will never leave my feet until I have regained that which is rightfully mine. There goes my brother, Lad. I wouldn't expect anything less. Do you think Lad will have a change? I don't know about that, but... Change is inevitable, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? To you I'm husband, sweetheart, confidant. And soon, father. What do you mean? It's a baby blanket, silly. You mean I'm... we're... Your kingdom is growing already. <laughs> Congratulations! You're a father! Nine months I've sweated and grunted and groveled in the mud with the pig farmers and their beasts. My golden shoes are chattered and torn. <laughs> Everything I try, every plot, every intrigue, thwarted. <laughs> A girl. Well, plague, it's over. I might as well take off the shoes. Girl, girl, girl. Come in. His Majesty, King Heath, proclaims a day of mourning. His beloved wife... Queen Mariana died today, giving birth to a baby girl. Girl? Did the baby live? Yes, my lord. I wish to uh, send my brother a message of uh, condolence. Dear Heath, since the news of the untimely passing of your sweet wife, we experienced tragedy in the sudden death of our own firstborn daughter. 
Elsa has taken our loss in the worst way possible. I would be forever in your debt if you would allow her to nurse and help raise your child. We've had our disagreements in the past. Perhaps this could make things right. Ever your brother, Laird. Now, remember, you lost the baby. Invent some disease. I'll take my secret passageway through the dungeons and meet you tonight at midnight. Meanwhile, I must see my cobbler about a new pair of shoes. One head, all, two eyes, two ears, one nose, one mouth. Here now, what are you doing with your moth-eaten books around the princess? My job as court historian, and my books are not moth-eaten. Ah! Oh, shoo, shoo, shoo. Besides, body note, color, pink. That is no way to talk two and three quarter weeks long. <laughs> <laughs> to the bird that limb notes two arms that recently saved the two hands a kingdom from its doom. Ten fingers, very strong. Then you've solved the mystery of the play, have you? Not exactly, but footnotes. Ten little piggies. <laughs> uh, toes. I put Heath on the throne. With a little help from young Master Rollo. Uh, one birthmark, heart shape, left foot. <laughs> but the reign of the 18th King hasn't ended yet. I'd get busy, Mr. Scholar. Done. Oh, you! Out! Out! And don't forget this dirty old thing. Heath, you have an adorable daughter. I brought this. Look, it's Daddy. Hi, baby. Would you like to hold it? Oh. Your mother made this blanket. I can't wait to tell you all about her so you can grow up to be as kind and loving as she was. Sleep. My little princess. I'm here! Oh, what a ghastly journey. We're all sorry you lost your baby. Yes, dear. It must be hard. Oh, uh, oh yes. The, um, lumbago got her. Oh. It, it was a trial. Very sad. We appreciate you coming. It will ease my burden. Oh, just make sure I get four square meals a day. Plus snacks. Hush now. Oh, you like your Auntie Elsa, don't you? Oh, poor little thing. I lost my mother when I was young. There now, there. Hello, wife. Claire, I've been wondering if we should do this. This child isn't responsible for you losing the throne. An injustice has been done to me. I intend to change that. Would you deny our daughter her rightful place? Shh. Elsa? Elsa? What's happening? Is everything okay? Uh, it's it's just the baby fussing. <sighs> Maybe I was having a bad dream. <laughs> Good night, then. Yes. Good night. If he thinks he's having a bad dream tonight, just wait. If you raise our daughter right, she'll be proud. And spoiled. Ambitious. And spoiled. Greedy. And spoiled. Just, Just like, like me. me. And most of all, she'll be a torment to my brother Heath. Plague will deliver messages between us. Now, give me the baby. Promise you won't harm her. No. I'm still her aunt. I promise. Give her to a good family! I know just the one. <laughs> Hey, girl! 
I'm coming. Don't strain, button. It's not healthy. Daria, where's our breakfast? Oh, it's cooking, stepmother. You wanted duck eggs. It, it takes time to find them. Don't get shaky. Sorry. <laughs> well, my little turtle dove, shall we get up today? Ooh, maybe we should get up this week. Let me check my joints. They sound better. Let's get up. <laughs> Here's your breakfast. Later. <laughs> we work our fingers to the bone and no pickle jelly. Why do we ever take you? We're getting paid to keep her, remember? Not enough! Here it is, another day Trying hard just to carry on Bring me my breakfast and sweep up the floor That's all I hear night and noon Sometimes I want to run away but this is where I'm born to be So why do I keep wondering If there's something more for me Down the meadow As the ravine does the grass grow Greener than green are the places I've never dreamed of out in the wide open Somewhere there's a miller's son Just as handsome as anything White ribboned ladies parade in the square Longing to cling to his arm Look at me, just a peasant girl Destined to cling to her plow So why do I keep feeling he's away? around here. Silver and opals. Yuck! I only wear diamonds and gold. The occasional ruby or emerald now and then. Hildegard, this was your mother's ring. She wanted you to have it when you turned 18. Don't talk to me about my mother. Ah! How tall is my portrait? Ten feet, my lady. What a vulgar size. It must be 25, no, 35 feet high. B -b but the ceiling, it is only 18 feet high. <laughs> well, then raise the ceiling. Hildegard, that portrait is the same size I as... I know, my mother's. I wanted to put you side by side. She would have liked that. I've told you, I don't want to hear about my mother. I don't care what she did or how she lived. I'm the royal princess. And I want my portrait bigger than everyone's! You were right today. A true princess mustn't take no from anyone. <laughs> take this to Laird and come right back. Don't bite your pretty nose, dear. Sometimes you act like my mother. 
Sebastian brought you 20 feather beds. From friends of his, he said. His fine feathered friends? I hope they pluck themselves bald. <laughs> Good morning, your majesty. Guess what I found? <sighs> Don't want to guess? <laughs> Listen to this. To find the heart of true nobility, place the pea 20 mattresses deep. 20 mattresses? How about that? What am I to do with Hildegard? There has got to be a meaning to the mystery, to the riddle. There has got to be a clue. How on earth can it be that a pea such as ye can perform the kind of magic that you do? Is there something in your vapor that becomes unleashed when encountering a fuzzy feather bed? Do you buzz? Do you glow? Tell me, how do you know when a noble lady rests her head? My silent little friend of green, I know you know the answer. There's a weighty obligation on us. A kingdom that depends upon us. Won't you help me in the name of science to throw a little light my way? If I set you down upon a wooden tabletop and I rubbed you like the belly of a frog, would you play me a tune? Jump around like a loon or just lay there like a lump upon a log? Is there something in the makeup of your chemistry? Some amazing little message at the core? I would risk beacon wings to uncover the thing if I only knew what I was looking for. My brain is over amping now. My cells are fiercely frying. It's a purpley potion. Maybe this will get the wheels in motion. If I shook you like a mystic milk cake, would you finally reveal the key? I think I feel a tiny rumble. Something happening here. Getting louder, growing stronger. Can it be? Now the fire is lit. Here we go. This is it. Oh, Grandpa. Is there something you can do to release me from this stew? I have got to find the secret of the pea! You're out of practice. Hard to tell who's the man and who's the dummy. Would you like to show me, sir? Call me the Questing Knight. On guard. By the way, 
People don't seem very happy in your kingdom. Oh, yeah? I've been distracted with domestic troubles. Is that why you're here? No, no, I quest for sweet beauty. They're the single feminine type. With whom to retreat into marital bliss. Pea soup. Rolo! Hi, Sebastian. Mm, still working on your love potions, I see. I'll have you know that that pea soup may, may someday save the kingdom. Rolo. Hi. Ah! Sebastian's been telling me about the birds and the peas. <laughs> Rollo of Arvea, the questing knight. Then you are looking for a wife. A beauty, whose kingdom is powerful, strategically located, and rich. Oh, so Laird is right. It does take gold to rule. Whatever happened to that young, idealistic Prince Rollo I used to know? Oh, it's just, you know, politics. My advisors say we want an alliance, the union of two strong kingdoms. And what do you want, Rollo? Ah, I'd like someone kind and good like your Mariana was, of course. May she rest in peace. But maybe I can have my mate and treaty too. Ah, listen to that, Grandpa Stonebeak. Ah, I keep forgetting you've been replaced. Ooh la la, I'd like to see more of her. That would be hard. By royal command, her portraits are everywhere. Oh, well, what about her availability? Dowry? Tell him the truth, Heath. She's a brat. A spoiled, selfish brat. Mm. I'll tell you who to marry if you'll just wait until I finish my research. You still believe in that legend of the pea stuff? Like I say, never underestimate the power of a... <laughs> Never underestimate the power of a vegetable. You go, Fearless. Now stay out of trouble while I go get my bucket. <laughs> Princess Hungry Star. A little water never hurt anyone. Where's Fearless? Enhancing model. Oh, it emphasizes your high cheekbones. Ah, oh, no, there's a lovely sight. Oh, you're so kind. A tender lass talking to her animals. Tis a magical picture. Magical? Shrine, short sight. Spooky, I'd Jerry. say. Jerry, as if them pigs is human beings. Come on now. What a refreshing night's sleep. Oh! Look, Elsa, he's handsome. And he's heir to a large kingdom. A rich kingdom? Extremely. I'll take him. What do you say, Heath? Where shall I look for my wife? You there! I've decided to have you. But, but to have me? Hildegard, that's not how it works. Hildegard! You want a wife. Oh, it's true. And I want you. Sebastian, arrange the details of the marriage. I will expect a wedding veil 20, no, 30 feet long, a golden tiara with 12 diamonds arranged in a... Fly, Rollo! Fly like the wind if you wish to escape the storm. 
I, I, I have to wash my sword. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm allergic to diamonds. Uh, I mean, um, I, I'm late. Ugh. For a quest. Goodbye. What? I'm the royal princess! Come back and face the wedding music like a man! Guards! After him! Hildegard! Bring my coach! I'll stop Prince Rollo myself! Hildegard, stop! I command you! <laughs> We'd better go after her, Your Majesty, for the sake of the kingdom. An honor to have you come high, Your Highness. <laughs> I, I mean, by Your Highness. A true honor. And... Help me out, peasant. Oh, certainly, my lady. Oh, an honor. A true blooming honor. Down. <laughs> Truly an honor. My back is your... Oh, your back. Huh? You're the royal princess. Out of my way, you sniveling popinjay. <gasps> Laird. Oh, what a trip. All that bouncing. <laughs> Ghastly. What am I? A piece of cheese? Elsa. She's wonderful. <laughs> she wants to marry Prince Rollo. <laughs> Marvelous. She just needs a few lessons in deceit and hypocrisy. It takes honey to catch some flies. What are you doing? Your horses are very thirsty. I'll decide <gasps> if they drink. They're here to serve me. Tonight you may tell her our secret. Meanwhile, I have a little matchmaking to do. <laughs> Hildegard, wait! Wait! You can come out now, Prince Rollo. <laughs> I've stabled your horse and prepared a bed for you. Thanks, lad. I never knew you could be so nice. No, oh, you can thank Heath. Since living with the pig people, I've learned a lot about appearances. Take Princess Hildegard. Huh? Poor girl. She's had a hard life. Always having to measure up to her mother's memory. She's really a shy, sweet, sensitive, humble girl. I want <laughs> You are our daughter. Born in the pig! Kingdom? How vulgar! Now we can work together. The kingdom shall be ours. <laughs> oh, it's just an old bear. On with the quest. Same direction as that bear. Hello? We better warn them. <laughs> Which way does she go, Sir Wendell? Stay here with the horse. Hello? Hello? 
Maiden, please come back. There's a bear on the loo. Stay back. I've got a sword here. Somewhere. Now. Aha. Balthazar. Stealing fish? There's more than enough for everyone. Go on now. Shoot. Remember, Balthazar. <laughs> You're still the only bear in my life. Did you really expect to scare a bear with a pickerel? <laughs> I expected to save your life, but instead you saved mine. In your debt, my lady. Oh, I'm not a lady, and Balthazar wouldn't hurt anyone. He just makes a pig of himself sometimes. No offense, princess. You're beautiful. Did you hear that, princess? He thinks you're beautiful. Princess? I'm Prince... I mean, um, I'm Rollo. Hello, hungry. I know what you want. And this is... Oh, where's Phyllis? There you are. Come out and meet our guest. This is Phyllis. <laughs> I wanted to give him a name to oh, live up to. It hasn't worked yet. Well, this is some place you've got here. It's my place. My secret place. At least it used to be. Don't worry. It'll be our secret place. I've never had anyone to share a secret with. Would you... Show me around. Will you promise not to tell? Cross my heart. This is marvelous. I'll show you my favorite place. Sometimes when I'm here, I imagine a kingdom where everyone is kind and good. to play his part in 
See her. And isn't she just the most, the most... What am I saying? She's a peasant. Your quest. In the name of science. We extend a hearty greeting, for our hearts are in a whirl at the prospect of your meeting, a precious baby girl. You try to raise her right, hoping someday someone might see a pleasing little reason for our nations to unite. She's a fragile sort, our Alice, so we've kept her free from strife. Never had a water callous, never labored in her life. She's the most pure and pristine, dainty flower you've ever seen. May we proudly, proudly introduce, introduce you to your darling future, future queen. queen. She's the one, she's the one, she's perfect. So perfect in every way. Her lips, her hair beyond compare She flows, she glows, she walks on air My advisors I'm sure would agree She's the perfect princess for me Too much, too flat, too soon, now pat To the right, now switch Oh my goodness, quickly, quickly, it, it, it! Isn't she adorable? Growing bored! Amuse! Dark hard! You lose! They free up, apply glaze! Fool! Good help is hard to find these days! <laughs> Perfect combination, what a happy pair they are. Pretty close to jubilation, may the union take them far. Far away from us. Only 27 floors, time to get down on all fours. Oh, pardon me, your grace, but I believe that this is yours. I will search the land and sea to find the perfect princess for me. We've heard about your mission, and we've come to lend a hand. For our daughter's disposition is the fairest in the land. So devoid of she of gloom, she, she can light up any room. Such a perky catch, catch a joyous match for, for any lucky groom. She's the one, she's the one, she's perfect. So perfect in every way. Her eyes, her chin, her flawless skin In a gown that would set any crown a spin From a sound and renowned family tree She's a perfect princess for me My lady ah! <laughs> Loosen up Jackson, get the party going It looks like you need a little smile 
hear that? You can't off your shoes. Be a goodbye to the blues. Cause that's all you hear for just a while. <laughs> There's nothing like a good joke to give your sides a shake. And nobody shakes them like Cherie. So put your hand in my hand. Say shout to the plan. Hey, think how much fun it will be. Ever after in laughter. My dolly, Raleigh, and me. Got your nose. He's cute, he's cute, I like him! Yahoo! Over here! Where's he going? I guess it's harder to fall in love than I thought. There's that peasant girl you always talk about. Yeah. I can't trust my heart. I've got to use my head. And I'll learn the secret of the pea if I have to read every book in my library. Sebastian, you're back. I arrived last night. And how goes the quest? Awful. There's nothing in these books. Rollo's in love with some peasant girl. He is? Twittering like a lovebird. She's so beautiful. She's so kind. With eyes like this. And lips like that. He never stops. I simply must find the answer to the pea. I have a message you must take to Rolo. I'm a scholar, not a messenger. I don't know who else I can trust. There seems to be a spy in the castle. Is it that important? I'm going to disinherit Hildegard. If Rolo will marry the peasant girl, I will make him my heir and give them my kingdom. Stop, Sebastian, however you can, and take the message to Laird. <laughs> I failed Heath. I failed Rolo. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> oh! Wait now, Plague. Oh, what would Grandpa Stonebeak say? <laughs> Rule one, fly a weaving net. Rule two, never fly in the trees. <laughs> Altitude! I need altitude! Ha-ha! <laughs> I lost that overstuffed harpy! <laughs> Brains will always triumph over... <sighs> All these painted, powdered... Pampered, pedigreed princesses. Why do we call them noble? Take them out of their fancy clothes and put them on, say, a pig farm. And what would you get? Exactly. Whiny women. 
I don't need Sebastian's pee to see where I'm barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Royalty, nobility, <laughs> all glitter and gold on the outside, but inside, we're hollow. We're hollow. I must see Daria again. Some things are more valuable than all the kingdoms in the world. What's this? So... Heath wants to disinherit my daughter and give that pig girl and Rollo my kingdom. It's time for the pig family to disappear. <laughs> Dear citizen, as your lord, my concern for your welfare is unbounded. We have had a terrible drought in our region. Streams are drying up. The rain clouds will not come. Crops are dying. Some evil in our midst has brought this upon us. It is a person. Who could it be? Not me. A person brought among us by two of our own. We've done nothing. Every day you do nothing, and yet you prosper. Money from heaven. Hidden gold. But it isn't just the two of you. Look over there. She's different. She talks to animals. She's the cause of our suffering. Let's fight! Don't understand. Our vegetable gardens are drying up. We have enough to eat. Have I done something? We must. Free our land of this evil! She's in there, guarded by a bear. Fool! Have you no imagination? Throw in your torches! I tried so hard to be nice to everyone, to make our kingdom of the heart right here. But no one wants to listen. I may have to stay right here forever. I try to stop them. But... Is anyone in there? Mm, the poor peasant girl. Her and the three piglets. I think she was called... Daria! <laughs> Daria! <laughs> oh, my head. Oh, oh, oh. Where there's smoke, there's usually fire. I'd better get out of... It's her. The princess and the pea. Dear lady, can you tell me the secret of the pea? To reveal the heart of true nobility, place the pea 20 mattresses deep. The princess true is love and sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Upon such, she can never sleep. <gasps> That's it. It's so simple. The 
truly noble heart is so sensitive to people's needs and their heartaches. Of course! <laughs> it's in the princess, not the bee! <laughs> it's in the princess, not the bee! It's in the princess, not the bee! <laughs> Sebastian! Have you seen Daria? Ooh. I've got to get you out of here! What did he say, your lordship? Uh, Hildegard. Yes, he said Hildegard. <laughs> Prince Rollo wants to marry Princess Hildegard. <laughs> Thank goodness you're all right. I thought I might lose my future son-in-law. <laughs> Everyone's so excited about the news. Well, what news? Why, that you want to marry Hildegard, of course. I said that? Oh, my head. You remember? Mm -hmm. I heard it from your own lips. Oh. Isn't it wonderful, Rollo? Oh. She's become everything I wanted her to be, just like her mother. <laughs> but... What happened to... I'm afraid the peasant girl is dead. I've started the wedding preparations. We'll start the ceremony the very moment you can get up from this little bed. Where's Sebastian? The poor bird. He's gone cuckoo. <laughs> It's in the princess, not the bee. It's in the princess, not the bee. <laughs> There's no place left for me. No place. Girl. We want our breakfast. I'm sorry, but you'll have to get your own breakfast. <gasps> oh, it's a cruel world out there. You'll never survive. Oh, you just been we're going to have to get up today, sickly guy. Nobody's going to give you nothing! <laughs> you don't know how to take! How's my Poor little cuddle bunny today, hmm? Oh. The wedding preparations are almost done, sweetie. We could get married right now. Oh. Wake up. I need your counsel. Please, Sebastian. Oh. Maybe I should marry Hildegard. She has changed. Duty, honor, kingdom. What can I do? Once there was a light here, now it's gone forever. Gone forever. How blind was I to say goodbye? To one so warm and pure I She was all I lived for If be? only I had told her What's left If for only me? I could hold her In these lonely arms once more I would, I would give my life Meet death without fear If for just Where the 
the stars above have lost all their shine. Merry music never more to be mine. Where am I to roam now? How am I to start? No more going home now To my kingdom of love Child, you and your piglets. Oh. Oh. Sasha, thank goodness you're back. The wedding starts in ten oh. minutes. Oh, my, my, it, it's too terrible to contemplate. Oh, what else could possibly go wrong today? Oh, Sebastian, what in the name of sanity are you doing out of bed? I know the secret of the pea. It only needs to be tested scientifically. You crazy bird. The wedding begins in five minutes. What do you mean? Rollo is about to marry the monster. Wonder guard. Do you mind if I lay down? Oh, dear. What could we possibly do now? What about the pea? The prophecies. All my work. I'm ruined. You'd think you were marrying Hildegard. Use your brain. What can I do? He's made his nest. Now he'll have to feather it. Oh, then nobody can save him. Wait. I can't test the pea. Nothing. I just can't sleep here. There seems to be something under the mattress. I don't mean to be so sensitive. It worked! It actually worked! Oh, your majesty. He's crazy. Round the twist again. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Huh? This is incredible. Could it be? I must verify this. It's in the princess, not the pea. It's in the princess, not the pea. Completely round the twist. Head notes, body notes. Ah, footnotes. Let's see. Birthmark in the shape of a heart left foot. That girl is not only a true princess, but the princess. I must stop the wedding. 
Ah, uh, Sebastian. You always stick your beak in where it's not wanted. Take care of this. I'll find the pig girl. Sorry, I can't stay, but my daughter is about to tie the knot. <laughs> come, come. We're late. But, Daddy, the prince is in trouble, and no one's going to save him. Oh, poor Rollo. Mark on her left foot. <gasps> Ask Hildegard to show you hers. I suppose the little pea told you all this. Go ahead, dear. <laughs> See? But, 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 but I, I don't understand. I was so sure. Resume the ceremony. <laughs> Hildegard is not your daughter, Heath. Ah. <laughs> ah, the pig's out of the bag. Fearless? Princess, hungry. But if you are here, then... Heath, your daughter is... Right here! <gasps> Let me go! Darren, take <gasps> another step and she goes over the side. <laughs> <laughs> Elsa and Hildegard, come to me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Now! Hildegard. Lad, where is your conscience? You're so predictable. Play! <laughs> Say goodbye to your future son-in-law. Rollo! <laughs> what a... Tragic accident! At this time of sorrow, I sadly proclaim myself king and denounce this girl as an imposter! Wrong again, brother. I want the kingdom! Let my daughter free! My reign was short but glorious. Rollo! I'm coming! <laughs> Where do they go, Winthrop? <laughs> Father walled up the dungeons when I was a boy, but I found a secret passage. To amuse myself, I created booby traps. Don't panic. A few more steps. Oh, this is ruining my appetite. Ooh, they're coming, lad. Closer. 
just the little things. One more step. It's a trap! Don't come! No! You ruined my trap! You... You... With pleasure. <laughs> Rollo! Oh. <laughs> it's all right, Fearless. It's all right. Mm. After our Winthrop. No, 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 Rollo. You think nobility means who you're born to be. But, uh, that it means you can push people around or take their money. I know, but... You think kindness is a weakness. A small weakness. Well, you're wrong! I'm a wretched creature! Come and take me. <laughs> as gullible as he... <laughs> Stop! Don't you ever wonder if pig girls have wings? <laughs> Blades, finish him! Not this time, Buster! Don't be too hard! Warrior in me, after all. <laughs> no, do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> no! Look out, Daria! Ruin my wedding with you! <laughs> We do. And you feel as a real hero. Let go of my hand, you dodgy hound. Let go of my hand, but you understand my... Oh! Heath, meet your daughter, Dara. I'll tell you all about her <laughs> after the wedding. This looks like the beginning of another golden age. As I always say, never underestimate the power of a vegetable. And never underestimate the power of a pure heart.
it seems my fondest dreams have faded all from view. There's a place I go to. You'll be sure to find me turning every storm cloud a lovely sky of blue. In my sea. My head, then understand the feelings that I feel. Everywhere there's laughter, no more fears or hatred. Where promises are sacred and love is all that's real. In my perfect place, where some. from here. A very special sort of place. A one-of-a-kind and never ordinary kind of place. Where dreams come true and we grow better every day. Now you know where it is. You've been there before. Yeah, I know you know the way. That's it. Right down there. That's Strawberry Land. Well, come on. What are we waiting for?
Did you find any of them? No, Strawberry, and I've looked everywhere. Unlike some dogs I know. Oh! Hi! We'll find some. I'm sure of it. Feel bad? <laughs> they say when the east wind blows, it means your very favorite dream is about to come true. <clears throat> is that really true, Strawberry? Well, I believe it is. Wow. My very favorite dream. Ah! Oh, Pupcake, please watch out where... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Hey! Wait for me! Something is taking them, do you, Strawberry? I don't know, Custard. All I know is Strawberry Land has always been full of berries. There have always been plenty for me and you and all our friends. Oh? Huh? <laughs> I think he hears something. Yeah, me too. A little voice inside my head saying, Go home, Custard. Hmm, that's strange. Don't leave me here alone. <gasps> Wake me up when it's over. Something's in here. Hey. Oh, my! <clears throat> oh, oh, hiya! Ginger Snap, you startled us. Well, hello, Strawberry Shortcake. What are you doing, huh? Looking for berries, I bet? Me too, but I'm not finding many. Nope, Slim Pickens this year. Sure is strange, isn't it? Where do you figure they all went, huh? That's what we're trying to find out. Sure looks like Pupcake's onto something, huh? <gasps> Me scared? What makes you think that? <sighs> Phew! Uh. Angel cake! Hi! Raspberry tort? Hi, Orange Blossom! Ginger snap! Well, 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 little lemon meringue herself. What's everybody doing here? I think we're all doing the very same thing. Which is looking for berries, am I right? Only nobody can find any, am I right again? The vines should be full this time of year. Oh, but how will I bake my Everberry cakes if there's not a solitary berry? <laughs> hey, it's not the end of the world. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> I don't understand. This patch usually grows tons of berries. Why would today be any different? <laughs> What was that? Whatever it is, it's coming from over this way. Oh, no! Look! Berry birds! That's who's been taking all the berries. Get over it, kid. <laughs> you don't understand, Raspberry. 
Don't worry, Angel Cake. We'll share the berries we do have. Let's see how many there are. Here's all I found. Let's see what I've got. Here you go. Here's mine. And mine. That's hardly any. What about lemon meringue? Got any berries? Nothing. Well, there you have it, Arnie Mar. That's all of them. Guess you're gonna have to start baking smaller cakes. <gasps> now, don't worry. I'm sure I'll think of something. When things seem bad, you can make them grow better, you know? And sometimes, when things seem bad, they get worse. <laughs> I do, Miss Grapes. But we're not where we would be if we weren't where we are. Then where are we? According to the map, we're almost to... the South Pole! What? Give me that! Is it my fault the map was printed upside down? Strawberry Land has to be around here somewhere. Why didn't you just stop and ask for directions? I do not ask directions. I'll find the way or I'm not the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Yes, da, 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 da. Oh, we are completely doomed. Barry! Oh, Barry! Berries, you say? Where are their berries? Strawberries! Rock berries! That way! Told you I'd find the way! <laughs> Blasted map! Giddy up, Dobbin! <laughs> We're off to Strawberry Land! Whoa! Oh, slow down! I don't understand. Strawberry Land is a place where things grow better every day. But now, things are growing very confusing. Something you can do. I'm just a kid, you know. What could I do? To believe in your dreams, first you have to believe in yourself. <gasps> Who said that? Who said what? Didn't you hear? Guess I was daydreaming. Yeah, only just dreaming. But maybe there is something I can do. Like what, Strawberry? Me and my friends can turn Strawberry Land into a garden. Can't you just see it? How a garden grows. How a garden grows. A hill is more than just a hill. It's a world of possibilities. A plain old hill with just a little skill and lots and lots of love can be pretty as you please. How a garden grows, how a garden, how a garden grows, how a garden grows, how a garden grows, how a garden, how a garden grows. Field stream, Dale and Dell, oh what a tale we'll tell. How a garden grows. A seed is more than just a seed, it's a dreamer's main ingredient. 
you plant that seed. Water, feed, and read in time, it's guaranteed that to your astonishment. How a garden grows, how a garden, how a garden grows, how a garden grows, how a garden grows, how a garden, how a garden grows. And when we harmonize, see how the berries rise. How a garden grows. Is this maybe just a daydream? Is it all just too ideal? Can I find in far away dream with some sun and wind and rain to reel? To share is more than just to share. It turns the into a Can I do it? Can I really do it? I just gotta try. I don't see why I have to do all the hard work. Oh, you've got it easy. Easy, huh? Your work takes a strong back. Mine takes brains. You don't know how difficult it is to think. And I think I'll put the pie factory right here. You'll have to tear down that ugly little house. I already thought of that. What makes you sure we'll have this factory? I'm sure, or I'm not, the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Yada da 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 da! Yada yada yada. I'm telling you, in Strawberry Land, you plant a seed and it grows like. Like that? You can't stand in one place, or vines will grow right over you. We'll build a great factory and use all the berries in the land to bake our pies. Can't you just see it? <laughs> a silly dream. It's no dream. I have a plan. Come on, Custard. Come on, Pupcake. What time is it anyway? Time to get our friends and get to work. There's a lot to be done to get a garden started. These things take time. Ark, ark. Ark. <sighs> I'm just not a morning cat. Ark, 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 ark. We're raring and ready to go, Starby Shortcake. So what do we do first, huh? Where do we start? Hmm. Well, here's a good place to start. The very first thing to do is to clear out all these weeds and rock candy rocks. Then let's get to it. What do you say, guys? I say it's a waste of time. Oh, Raspberry, I'm sure we can do it if we all work together. Whoa, this thing is dirty. Chances of making this work are slim and none. We'll do it, Raspberry. We just gotta believe we can. Yeah, well, I don't believe. All right, Pupcake. I'll show you the proper way to remove a weed. First, you... <coughs> and then there's your way. Don't you think this would be a pretty spot for a pond? Sure, and how about building a big bridge over it, huh? From here to here. And we can plant a row of orange trees right along the edge. And a nice, comfortable bench right here. Because this is exhausting. <sighs> okay, let's get the seeds planted. My very best this favorite favorite one. Favorite. What should I plant first? How long will it take to grow anyway? In Strawberry Land, things grow before your eyes. But you have to work hard and give it lots of love. Hold on. 
on, Orange Blossom. This thing's making an awful funny noise. I don't think it's the wheelbarrow, Ginger Snap. Who's that? Good morning, children. Who are you? Who am I? Why, I am the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Yatatatata! <laughs> <laughs> and my sister, Sour Grapes. What are you staring at? Well, answer me! Orange Blossom gets a little shy sometimes around new people. I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and these are my friends, Orange Blossom, Ginger Snap, Raspberry Tort... Yeah, yeah, pleasure's all yours, I'm sure. Is there something we can help you with? You can tell me why you're on my land. There must be a mistake. I'm very sure this land belongs to us all. No, child. Afraid not. Here's the deed and my name on it. Peculiar Purple Pie Man of Porcupine Peak. Yata ta da ta da. Huh? Excuse me, Mr. Pie Man. You can't take this place. Our very good friend Strawberry Shortcake is going to grow a garden right here. It's her dream. You don't say. She wants to grow a garden. Why, that's just what I want. And I want to grow it right here. I guess we'll have to make your dream our dream, won't we, dear? You hear that? The nerve. Why, I oughta... No, don't try to stop me. And now, children, if you don't mind... Get off our land! Giddy up! <laughs> But we've worked so hard here. What are we gonna do now, Strawberry? I, d I don't quite know. <sighs> I'm awful sorry, Strawberry. Yeah, me too. Look, we'll figure something out, am I right? Because we're gonna make Strawberry Shortcake's dream come true. Am I right, huh, am I? I am right, right? <sighs> what are we supposed to do, Ginger Snap? I need those berries. We all need them, Angel Cake. Yeah, right. Except them. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, you haven't been in Strawberry Land as long as we have. Angel Cake? I'm just saying that they shouldn't get the berries we ought to get, right? Angel Cake? It's kind of obvious we're not wanted around here. We aren't? No, we aren't, and we're going. We are? Where are we going? I don't know, but somewhere far from here. Hey, don't leave, Raspberry. Hold on, Lemon Meringue. Oh, that was real nice going, Angel Cake. What did I do? Angel Cake, how could you? Yeah, and that goes double for me. But what did I do? Everybody, come back, please. At long last, our garden will finally grow. Well, where is it? You said it'd grow before my eyes. I don't see anything. There must be a trick, a secret. What are you talking about? The child, Strawberry Shortcake. She must know some trick, some secret to making berry vines grow. And I'll find it out. You! Come here. Find the girl and find the secret. And don't come back till you have it! Whatever else I do, I gotta find a way to bring my friends back together. Strawberry Land's supposed to be a place where there's plenty of everything to go around. Friendship, too. It's a place to grow better every day. Can't we grow better on this side of the river? Whoa! Whew. Don't need a bath. Uh-uh. I'm no good at this. 
I got you, Custard. Strawberry, what can you do about your friends? They won't even stay in the same room together. Custard, that's it. That's what? What's it? If they were in the same room, they'd remember. Remember? What? That they are friends. invite everyone to a slumber party. Lemon Meringue's not gonna come if Raspberry doesn't, and Raspberry's not gonna come if Angel Cake does, and Ginger Snap's not gonna... But I'm not gonna tell them. I won't tell any of them the other's coming. I got a bad feeling about this. Please bring a sleeping bag, a favorite toy, and a favorite game. Once everybody's here and having fun, they'll forget they were ever mad at each other. Come on! Here goes. arrive any minute now. What are you doing here? Strawberry Shortcake invited me, Angel Cake. What are you doing here? Why, I thought I was the only one coming, just me and only me and nobody else. So what are you doing here, Lemon Meringue, huh? What? I was invited too. Why are you here? I think we're here for the same reason. What do you know? Come on in. Somebody brought checkers. Yeah, me. Hmm. Somebody brought dominoes. I kind of like those. I brought them. You want to play? Don't know. Guess. Sorry about what I said. Can you maybe, sort of, you know, forgive me? Sure. You know, sort of. Hey, who wants hot cocoa and butterscotch popcorn? Mmm, love that stuff. Hot cocoa is my all-time most ever favorite. Yep, you betcha. I'm glad Strawberry had the sleepover party. Me too. Mmm, something smells yummy. It's the hot cocoa. I just think we all should remember the secret to things growing better is believing in your dreams. And of course, hard work. That's why I know we'll soon have fairies again. I don't know, Strawberry. Will believing in your dreams really bring the berries back? Hey, you got a dream, right? And you gotta follow your dream and see where it takes you. Yeah! Everything will be just fine! You're right! Come on, Lemon and Ginger, get your hot cocoa! Thanks! Oh yeah, yum! Here's to dreams and growing better! Cheers! I'll second that! You are so right! Mm, this so is a nice good. party! A whole lot of fun! Pie Man. Huh? Look at you thinking so hard. Why don't you rest your brain and go get some firewood? Hawk! Fairy! Hawk! Believe! Believe in dreams! What are you squawking about? Dreams? What do dreams have to do with anything? Strawberry! Hawk! Secret! Hawk! Dreams! Strawberry? So, little Strawberry's secret is to follow her dream? What are you squawking about? That's silly, Strawberry. I just need to find that dream before she does. And I think I know just where to look. 
Pack up, grapes. We're going to take a slight detour. Yeah? Well, I'll read the map this time. The place we're going isn't on the map. Thanks, everyone, for coming to my party. It's a great party. Sure, glad what to be minute. here. That cocoa was so yummy and sweet. Uh, I'm getting sleepy. Yep, sure am. Mm. Me too. It's almost time for the very sweetest thing of all. <laughs> and it's not Coco. Candy is sweet. Ice cream is too. But the most delicious treat isn't something that you choose. When you sleep While the moon gently beams What a pleasure to keep Sweet dreams There's no cup and no cone And they're always for free They belong to you alone How you want them to be like a rare work of art Or a diamond that gleams And they come from your heart Sweet dreams You can dream of a garden Or to race so fast you fly You can dream that the world hears you sing you're the princess of fairies You can swing to the sky You can stay as you are Or you can be Will come shining through shine in the morning through. when you wake. If you take your dreams with you, you can make all of them come true. So, starlight, protect us through the night. my friends could always be as happy as they are now. That'd be my very sweetest dream. To believe in your dreams, first you have to believe in yourself. Hmm? Huh? Who? Guess I was daydreaming again. <sighs> Not much longer. Just you wait. You'll see. <sighs> It'll all be mine, all of it mine. You'll see, you'll see. Now then, let's see. We should be uh, right about. Well, where are we? No, don't tell me. You don't know. We're lost again, aren't we? We are exactly where we want to be. Or I'm not the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. We are in the land of dreams. Land of dreams. Ah, oh, yeah, right. In your dreams, Pie Man. In my evil plan, more like it. This is the place everyone else's dreams come from. Do you expect me to believe that? You can believe what you want. But I believe this is all going to be mine. 
And very soon. Imagine what I can do when I have everyone's dreams. I'll be richer than... than if I'd ever dreamed. Are you serious? But how? How could you get someone's dream? From the dream factory, of course. That's where they're made. And I suppose you'll just walk in and take them, like you own the place. Precisely, because I do own the place, and here's the deed. Oh, yes, your old, this property belongs to me trick. All part of my plan. <laughs> Let's get going. We have work to do. Dreaming strawberry? No, this was really real. <gasps> Look up there! That's it! That's the sleep bug! Ooh. Yes, I see it! Look at that! Oh, I see it! It's pointing the way! I always heard the land of dreams was across a sea of stars. Then that's where we gotta go! And exactly how are we gonna get there? It does seem pretty far away, strawberry. Step back. Give me room. Let me think. Let me think. Hmm, let's see. Across the sea of stars. Hmm, to the land of dreams. Hmm. I got it! We'll sail in a dreamboat and I'll build it!
Good work, me. Yep, let's keep it moving, uh-huh. say we don't. You don't, do you? Anyway, I don't. Raspberry, lemon, we really need you. Come on, will you now? Pronto move. Hurry, jump on. No time to lose. They need us, Raspberry. You can do what you want to, but I'm going. Run, will you? Run, run, run. All right, but I still say it's ridiculous. Quick, we're running out of time. That's not all we're running out of. You gotta hurry! Ugh! Lemon meringue! Come on! Go on! Climb up! What about? Machine? You're kidding me, right? When the warning smoke is curling, how'd you get the whirlers whirling? When the cushion bells are sounding, what'll keep the pistons pounding? First you hemi hem the hammer, while you jimmy jam the jammer. Then you inch, you inch the wrench, and clench the clench. To and fro and fro and to it, but before you know you knew it, even if you've made a few mistakes. If your motor needs a shove, fix it with a little love, cause a little love is all it takes. Dreams seem distant when you're chasing them and fears feel frightening when you're facing them. But with dreams there's no replacing them, so I believe. When I wish upon a star at night, I don't get so very far at night. My heart tells me about the land of dreams and I believe. A machine's just like a chump. It'll work if Thank you. 
everybody pretty much okay? Yeah, okay. Pretty much. Uh-huh. Oh? It's beautiful. Whoa, no. Come look. Can you fix that, Ginger Snap? Hmm, whoa, wow, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Wow, yeah, hmm, hard to say. What do you mean? If you can't fix it, how are we going to get home? should help out here first, then find a way home. We better follow. <laughs> this way! The land of dreams is very dreamy. <gasps> I never saw any place like this before. On account of we never ever knew about it before. It's absolutely beautiful. So what was the big hurry? Why the rush? It's so pretty here, I forgot. Hey, Strawberry, how long are we going to stay? We want to get back, and soon. We do? I'm here in the land of dreams. Welcome to PJ's. I'm PJ. You children have reservations? Well, no, we... we don't. Hmm, let me see now. Table for eight. Strawberry shortcake, ginger snap, orange blossom, lemon meringue, raspberry tort, angel cake, and custard and puff cake. That you? What? Yeah, but how'd you... Oh, there's lots of things I know. Like, I know you must be thirsty after your trip. Come along. So, what can I get for you, hun? Well, I... Orange Blossom's a little shy sometimes around new people. How about hot cocoa all around? Yum, hot cocoa. That's what I was going to ask for. But how did you... Land of dreams, hun. Anything can happen here. Oh, welcome to the land of dreams, where what your dream will be. You got a dream, I got the place, wake up and follow me. The land of dreams, the land of dreams. It can happen in the land of dreams. Oh, I love this dreamy land, where I can reach my goals of singing lead in my Pete. Here's a lovely lemon fairy. That sugar tart so swift and sweet. She'll keep the others merry. And high above on her chappies, the daring orange blossom. From neck to neck, it's safe to bet she's gonna get across them. And now inside the center ring, one very blue strawberry. Now tell us, dream girl, what's your dream girl? It's sort of ordinary. Oh, welcome to the land of dreams, where what you dream will be. You got a dream, we got the place. Now dream it loud for me. A garden with yummy food for everyone to share. That sounds delish, now make your wish and ride out of the What's your dream, hon? I'm not the dreaming kind. Child, you dream all right. You just forgot how to hear them. The land of dreams, the land of dreams. Just believe it, then you got a dream. Oh. And you 
children to our land of dreams. We're not sure. Leapbug asked us to come. Ah, yes. Then you want to talk to Sandman. Do you know where we can find him? <sighs> right out there. Poor man. Hasn't been the same since the Pie Man came to the Land of Dreams. Has there been trouble? I'm afraid so. The sleep bug was right. Excuse me. M Mr. Sandman? Yes, that's me. Was me. Till the peculiar purple Pie Man took over the job. He what? He took my dream factory. Said he had a deed to the place. You know, that's just precisely exactly what he did to our very good friend, Strawberry Shortcake. Our land hasn't been the same since he's been here. Not much happiness left anywhere. Oh, dear! My goodness! What was that? What's going on? Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm sure everything will be all right. Go about your business now. Go on. Don't worry. What's the big deal? It's just a little storm. Yep, it is. But we don't get storms in the Land of Dreams. Never? Ever. Till now. What's happening, Sandman? Nothing's been right since Pie Man got here. I guess that's why we're here to help. We'll get your factory back. There's nothing you can do. My factory's lost. That dream's shattered. Broken for good. You know, what I hear is, to believe in your dreams, first you have to believe in yourself. Oh, sounds like you've been dreaming, child. <gasps> he just needs to believe again. Go on now. With all of us working together, we can make this dream come true and get your factory back. I'm very sure of it. And you think so, too? Sure. We can do it. I you think betcha. so. Come on, let's try it. What about you? Guess it couldn't hurt to try. Well, all right, then. Let's all get to work. So where's your factory, huh? Just show us how to get there. It's a long way off, past Cloud Nine at 40 Wink Street. We'll have to travel by butterscotch butterflies. So we must first go to the field of dreams. Okay. Hup, hup. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Come on. We're here, hup, hup. but I don't see any butterscotch butterflies. Nope, I don't see anything. Uh-uh. They're a little shy sometimes around new people. Would you look at that? Now that's what I call a butterfly. I'd like to see you chase one of those. Come along, climb aboard. Is this, you know, safe? Oh, they fly like a dream. Come on. After you. Scaredy pup. Isn't it the most very amazing thing you ever saw? It kinda is, isn't it? Like a dream come true. It is, but... But what? I never was big on dreams. All my dreams seem to turn bad. You can always turn bad dreams into good ones. Next time you have one, think good stuff, and the bad dream won't stand a chance. Guess it couldn't hurt to try. We're over the Nappin Valley now, where the counting sheep graze. <gasps> and there it is, just ahead, my dream factory. This is where the dream builders build dreams, the ones we send to people when they fall asleep. Whoa, would you look at that? I never dreamed there was such a place like this. Nope, no siree. If they see us, they'll squawk and make noise. How are we gonna get past them? Everyone, shh. I built this place with my own hands. I know every inch of it. 
Come, there's a secret way in. All clear. It kind of echoes in here. Where are we? We're in one of the back hallways used for carting dream ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> this way, quickly now. Let me see now. So many doors. Which one is the one we want? How about this door? No, no. Anyone but that one. That's where I keep the bad dreams. You mean like nightmares? Exactly. Let's keep looking. Aha! This will take us where we need to go. Right through here. What is all this stuff? These are forgotten dreams. The ones that never got used. <gasps> oh, I used to want a doll like this a long, long time ago. I know. It's yours. What do you mean? It was your dream, Raspberry, but you never went looking for it. It sat there, gathering dust. Is it too late? Can I take it now? Never too late for a dream. Really? Aww. Whoa, would you look at that? Like nothing I ever saw. Nope, no serene, never. Don't have much time left. The more the Pie Man takes over, the more storm clouds roll in. Let's keep moving. Careful, watch your step. It's quite a drop. Whoa, would you look at that, huh? I never dreamed. Yeah, we know, but shh. Those are dream builders, the ones who build the dreams. They used to be happy at their jobs. They're making dreams now. They put them in the dream cooker, so we won't have any half-baked dreams. When the dreams are ready, they're wrapped and sent off for delivery. Come on, in here. We can see what's going on from up here. Almost time, Mr. Pie Man, to start sending the dreams out. No, not this night, nor any night. Oh, my. These dreams are mine now. I'm running things, and there won't be dreams for anybody else. You can't do that. I can. And if you don't like it, join your friend. <gasps> it's Charlie Dream Builder. He's got Charlie trapped. That's why they're doing what he says. So? What's it gonna be? <gasps> Go... Um, whatever you say, Mr. Pie Man, sir. Just please don't hurt Charlie. When I was but a sweet young cutie pie, I'd sleep like a baby through the night. And though all that sleep enhanced my beauty, I would wake up with the feeling something wasn't quite right. All the other kids had stories, nightly tales of wondrous glories, but I saw the dreams were not a gift for me. And I took this as a sign and vowed with all conviction that someday those dreamers' dreams would be all mine. These fluffy clouds in pillow size our dreams all packaged up and shipped away like pies, but since the dreams I crave don't grow in grocery stores, I think I'll steal a little dream of yours. The dreams he craves don't grow in grocery stores, so now he'll steal a little dream of yours. Yes, I'll take those and these, I think. Then this and this, wait, that's a nightmare, not a stick, so legend goes, yet no one knows till one compares. 
to the nasty little dream of theirs. The things still think, the nightmares think, so then you'll steal a little dream of theirs. I dreamed of 20 gourmet bakers baking endless trays of donuts And a clutch of pizza makers kneading dough until they go nuts I had chocolate soda fountains spouting caramel candy dishes Found a magic lap of genie and a life supply of wishes All for me Me, 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 he, he, greedy, greedy Look, it's me, it's mighty me It isn't fair There's no date. But no complaints He's such a saint I use restraint Don't make me faint First I'll steal your little dreams then unpeel your little dreams, then I'll beat your little dreams, defeat your little dreams, and cheat your little dreams. And you'll dream your dreamless sleep, and your happiness I'll keep along with everything not nailed down to the floors. So that every dream that's ever dreamed is mine or mine, not yours. The Pie Man is stealing everyone's dreams. This could cause a storm so bad, it could wash away Dreamland forever! Art berries! Art pies! Art strawberry pies! Strawberry pies? What are you saying? Ah! Bird brain. What's this filthy thing? What? Dreams! Dreams! Dreams? What are you squawking about? What? Bird brain! What? What? We've just got to get Charlie out of that cage. Then the others will help us. What's happening? <gasps> no! Shouldn't my dreams come true? All right. What's your dream? Well, I never had a doll when I was a child. Always dreamed of one. Oh, my life might have been totally different if I'd had a dolly. Oh, yes. I'd fix its hair like mine and get us matching dresses. Here. Oh, you. <gasps> what, 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 what are you doing here? This is private property! It's my property and my job, Pie Man. People deserve their dreams. Get him! Get them all! Hut, hut. You dream builders, get them! Or I'll send your friend on a long trip. Don't hurt, Charlie! Run, girls! Run for it! Don't let them get away! Sorry, Sandman. Lock him in the cage with your little dream builder friend. Quick, this way! we can do. You can't get away. We have you cornered. I used to think that the land of dreams was a good place. <laughs> Why are you dream builders being so mean? I thought you were supposed to be nice. We're sorry, but we have to follow Pie Man's orders. We can't let him hurt Charlie. But can't you help us help Sandman? Pie Man would know. He finds out everything. Dream builders! Don't just stand there, get those trespassers and bring them to me! See what I mean? We just gotta get out of here! You wouldn't want Pie Man to put us in a cage too, would you? No, we wouldn't. We will help you! Thanks! Oh, Wonderful! Nice. First, you need to run back to the room where the Pie Man is. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good plan. Nope, not at all. There's a doorway there, an exit. If you run through that door, you'll see that you've escaped from us. Okay, it's worth a try. Great plan. We've Let's gotta do help it. Sandman. Oh yeah! We'll get Sandman back in charge and rescue Charlie. You'll see. You'll never get away with this pie man. 
Looks like I already have. Bye bye. Come on, hurry! This is the way out. Stay up high, man. They were nothing but trouble anyway. Lock that door. Yes, Pie Man. Whatever you say, Pie Man. The dreams I want to keep go here. I want to go through them carefully. And there's one dream I simply must find. And that is strawberry shortcakes. What do we do with the ones you don't want? Burn them. Everybody okay? Everybody here? We're all right. And we're all here except Sandman. Pie Man probably locked him up. And it's all my fault. You didn't do anything wrong, Strawberry Shortcake. You were trying to help, you know? I'm the one who begged him to come back. And look what's happened. <sighs> Don't know why I thought I could do it. I'm just a kid. Silly dreamer, what were you thinking? You dreamed so big, there was no way you could win. Silly dreamer, your hope is sinking. You never really had a chance, so why'd you bother to begin? When your most favorite dream's about to shatter, and you see it'll never come true. Why keep on hoping your dream will ever matter? And if it won't, what's the matter with you? Silly dreamer, you're better off with open eyes. No disappointments or being taken by surprise. You wished upon a star, but it was too high to achieve. Silly dreamer, silly dreamer. Weren't you just silly to believe? Silly dreamer, don't stop your dreaming. No dreams too big and no victory too small. Silly dreamer, it's you who leads us. Without our dreamers, how on earth would we get anywhere at all? When it seems like you want to stop believing And it feels like there's no more you can do Just hold on knowing darkness is deceiving With the light, all your dreams may just come true Believe in your dreams. First, you have to believe in yourself. Silly dreamer, you still can't dream with open eyes and see a future that smiles on anyone who tries. Keep wishing on that star who knows what heights you might achieve. so Pie Man can't steal any more dreams. How are we gonna do that? Remember what PJ said? Anything can happen in the land of dreams. We just gotta believe. I'll take care of this. Look Talk about your dream come true. Now that's what I call believing. Stop her! Stop her! Stop her now! Yeah! Way to fuck! Go on, Lemon Marie! Don't just stand there and do something! 
Bang! What are you looking at? Get her! Hey, come back! She stopped the machine the moment Fairy Princess stopped it. But we have to help Sandman. I'll handle this one. She can be a little shy sometimes, and sometimes not. Those children are ruining everything. It's like a bad dream. Why, yes it is. And one bad dream deserves another. Butterflies! I'm out of here! <gasps> He's getting away! Gotta stop him! Ah! What did... How did... Who did... Where did... How? Hey! It's got my foot! Ah! It's got me! Uh, uh, oh! Uh, let go of me! Uh. I'll get him! Need something fast! Shortcake hunt and buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Send him home in a dream. What do you say? We're on it, Sandman. Ready, Charlie? Ready. <laughs> Goodbye, Pie Man. <laughs> Goodbye, Storm Clouds. Cover your ears! 
land of dreams. Guess we better get back, huh? <gasps> but the dream boat is still wrecked. We'll take care of it. Least we can do after all you did. I'm gonna miss Dreamland. I think we all will. Wait! Huh? What is it? This is for you. My doll! Mm. <gasps> but what's this? Ooh, a pretty heart. Your hearts, where your dreams come from. Whenever you need to dream, just look in your heart. Thank you very much. And thank you, Strawberry. With your kind heart, you reminded me of the most important ingredient to anything. You must mean love. Yes. And also, to make things grow better, sometimes it takes a little time and working together. <laughs> Thanks for your help! Thanks! Sweet dreams! We'll miss you! place. So did I. I think. But it was just a silly dream, wasn't it? A dream, maybe, but not a silly one. Ah! Look! Just look! What's going on out there? But, uh, oh, 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 but, uh, nothing's grown. You said there'd be miles and miles of vines. And do you see any vines? No! But I've done everything. I've watered the plants. I've made sure they've gotten plenty of sun. It's all her fault. She has some trick, some secret she won't tell. It really isn't a secret. You just forgot to add the most important thing. What's that? Love. Love? Nothing grows without it. Come on, grapes, we're getting out of this place. Now! Yeah. <laughs> Giddy up, Dobbin. Yeah. But he's right, Strawberry. Nothing has grown. What happened, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? What went wrong? Oh, everything's going to be just fine. But there's nothing here. Don't worry. I know we've given this garden lots of love. And it'll grow better because we'll take care of it every day. I sure hope you're right, Strawberry. Oh, I'm very sure of it. Hey, who's hungry for breakfast? 
Let's eat. I'm hungry. Sure thing. Bark, I'm bark. really starving. Bark. Bark, bark. That was fantastic. Great muffins, Angel Cake. Sure was. Good hot cocoa. Delicious. Thanks. But if only we had some berries. I've never made muffins without them before. Oh, I'm sure we'll have plenty of them in no time at all. Do you really think so, Strawberry? Hey, what's that? What's what, Raspberry? Or that out there in the field. Or what do you think, Strawberry? Huh? Let's see now. It's the garden and it's sprouting. Woohoo! Now I'll have berries again. Well, soon anyway, if we water our garden and care for it and give it plenty of love, we'll have everything we ever wanted. I guess dreams really can come true, can't they? They surely can. And this was my dream, right here, to see a garden, green and beautiful, and growing better every day. And that is where we're gonna end the story. Right here. You see, I knew that garden would keep growing bigger and better with each passing day. Because that's how it is in this special place. Everything and everyone grows better every day. In every sort of way. But maybe in this special place, the thing that grows the very best of all is friendship. We lost again. Things can't get any worse around here. Now, Grapes, the secret to things growing better is believing in your own dreams. That's why I know we won't be lost or buryless for long. <sighs> we are completely doomed. Come on, turn that frown upside down. We've got a dream to follow. <laughs>